Durag Wisdom here, and this is the 20th day since the horrific coup, the coup d'etat of the right wing, the racist birther pieces of turd have taken over our country, or they will be taking over in another month or so, a month and a few days. And as far as I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple of things I'm going to tell you today that you may not like, but this is just how I feel. It's my opinion. It's the opinion of do-rag wisdom. One, there's no holiday season. What kind of freaking holiday season do we have, huh? We just put a Nazi... A scumbag Nazi, excuse me, I'm not yelling at you folks, I'm just, you know, it makes me angry. A scumbag Nazi. A thug. A turd, a lowlife, a sexual predator, a, a thief. A naked ape. What, what, what kind of holiday season? We got Adolf Trumpler and his wife, Countess Dracula, and uh, two of his sons. I'm not going to talk about Baron. I'm not making fun of Baron. I kind of feel bad for Baron. But you got his two sons, Pugsley and Mugsley, and he, of course his wife, I said Countess Dracula. And then you got Marilyn Munster, his, uh, his daughter. And then you got the four stooges of hatred that he has, go, that is, that's going to be part of his wonderful, loving team that he says, we're going to represent all Americans, right? Well, let's see. Uh, his VP, Red Grant Smirsch Pence, a homophobic Christian extremist terrorist. Pence, man, oh man. If you need an abortion, ladies, or if you're gay, get ready for the, the policies, the racial, ethnic, cleansing policies of Christian terrorists. Pence. That's a great reason for me to celebrate the holidays, right? That we have a homophobic, religious, extremist, Christian in our, in our, a Christian religious extremist, excuse me. I said it, Christian religious extremist. Oh, and then we have uh, Steve Bannon hates me. I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew boy, boy. I'm a Jew boy. We got all the money. We got all the power. Uh, let me see. I got like, uh, what? Uh, 90,000 th followers because I'm a Jew. I'm a big Jew. Look at that nose. Yep, I'm a Jew. An American Jew. And I'm very happy to be a Jew. And if uh, the hateful advisor Bannon doesn't like it, hey, come to my house. Challenge me, my friend. And that's going to be the last day Steve Nazi Bannon will be on this planet. Holiday season, folks? <laughs> Holiday season? How about that? KKK piece of garbage uh, that he's picking Jeff Sessions. Oh! Oh, his claim to fame trying to keep black people from voting. Oh, wonderful. So now we have like the like the you know the second member of the four stooges of hate. <laughs> Jeff KKK pointy head sessions. And uh followed by of course Michael Flynn. <laughs> Michael Flynn <laughs> hates Islamics. He wants to destroy, he thinks Islam is the most pernicious religion there is. Personally, I think all religions are pernicious, but this guy, Flynn. Oh, what a man, what a man. What a loving man. What a tolerant man, a representative of all Americans like this Nazi Trump says he's going to do, right? So here we have it, the hate monger, the four hate mongers. Flynn, <laughs> Sessions, uh, Pence, and Bannon. 
Bannon hates me because I'm I'm a proud member of the Jewish tr tribe, even though I'm an atheist, a proud atheist. And you got Sessions, who wants to put black people back in their places. And then you got Flynn, who called, I think, Islam a, a disease or something. Uh, you know, uh, all right, so, so Sessions, a uh, Flynn, right? Bannon, Pence. Okay, Sessions, Flynn, Badham, Bannon, and Pence. Hateful morons like you couldn't believe. And, and, that, and by the way, let's not forget all the other pieces of garbage that this, this cancer, this tumor is putting in that he claims is going to represent all Americans. Mm, all Americans. He doesn't represent me. He'll never represent me. Because I plan on being in his face as much as I can and violating every single racist, homophobic, Islamophobic, misogynist, anything that this turd. I mean, I wish I was actually in the, in that, in the Senate or in the Congress. I'd be in their face like they wouldn't believe. Gee, they should bring Anthony Weiner back. Because like Bill Maher says, you need a freaking serial killer to fight another serial killer. And I don't think the Democratic Party has it. Holiday? Holiday season? Jeez, I won't even be able to watch my Frank Capra movies. That's for another broadcast. I have to tell you about that one. You know, he's the one that directed It's a Wonderful Life that people love to watch every year. Well, I can't even watch those films anymore. This whole world, this whole country is going to change. It's going to be, I mean, here I am 66, and I, <laughs> instead of the golden years, I'm going to have the shit years. But don't worry. And this is the second thing I wanted to tell you. There is no afterlife, ladies and gentlemen. There is no afterlife. You're born... You live, and then when you're gone, it's lights out. You know, the religions, that's part of our problem. And again, people have a right to their religion. I would never stop anyone. But let's understand one thing. The fact that these stupid religions advocate for an afterlife allows for us here to do nothing for the garbage we have to live with daily in this life. Ladies and gentlemen, stop being conned. The religions want you under control just like the rest of this, the idiots, the corporatists want you under control. This is it, folks. This is heaven or hell. As far as I'm concerned, it's mostly hell. Because human beings make each other as miserable as possible, and they continue making each other as miserable as possible because they believe that this is not it. We're going to go to another. We're going to go to a paradise. We're going to go to another place. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to make up for all the shit that we've had to put up with on this planet because of fellow human beings. Useless crap that we've had to put up with that we've had to deal with because there's going to be a next world. Start concentrating on this world, ladies and gentlemen, because this is all we have. Don't let them con you. Don't let them treat you like fools. For me, they put a hate monger, a thug into the Oval Office. The racist scum put this in there with the help of the wishy-washy Democratic Party. And this guy is picking every scum you could imagine that's going to take this country and the world down the toilet. I have no holiday season, okay? And there's not going to be a heaven at the end of the rainbow to make up for all the crap that has been done to me and that we do to each other and that worst stuff that's been done to other people and groups of people. This is a savage planet. 
This is a naked ape planet. And this is a savage species that still has a long way to go before it is finally refined. And I don't believe we're going to get to that point because the naked apes have taken over and put in a thug to be the president of this country. There's no holiday, folks, for me personally. And you know... There's no, no wonderful afterlife waiting for me at the end of this rainbow. Just darkness, folks. And if you want a little light, stop picking morons, folks. Stop picking idiots, folks. Stop hating each other for stupid reasons. Do rag wisdom. Watch this space if you want.